This is sparring class. You know that, right, Mrs. Hyatt? Oh, it's 322. Are you just watching? Okay. All right, just checking. You can change. You can change. You're gonna need to to vacuum after after the then you need to vacuum and then wipe down all those shells over there while I mop. Is all the stuff still fitting you, Mr. Brando, or is it getting small? Um, well, you guys say you can save it for your sister. All right, and then get yourself a new one at some point. You still have your red and blue headgears, right? Those still fit? Those work okay? Does your uh does your dado and your your uh, your KPMP socks and stuff still fit? I'm just wondering. Can you tape that better for him? You need to tape that better and then it's, huh? Oh, it's over. It's over there underneath the screen. All right, so let's do Riley and Francisco Jr. over in this ring here. And Carter and Brandon here to start. 
You need to tape it higher, actually. All right. Just tape it up along the seam up here, higher. You guys ready? There you go. Go. Come in, go sit down. Okay. So nice uh, warm up fight. Okay. Fish Joe, chit it. Kung Nam. Fighting sense. Oh, yeah. Three rounds. She joke. Don't try to block everything, Francisco. All right, get out of the way. Move and get out of the way. Move, move, move. Nice. Stay, keep that guard up close to your body there, Riley. There you go. Nice. Use your cut, use your cut to keep him back a little bit. Nice. So in and out or combo. So be careful, right? So you, right? She's gotten you a couple times with that. So you got to be aware that she's gonna try to double up that kick. Nice. Catch her beforehand. Come on. Thirty second rest. Thirty second rest. Yeah, she, she will react. She'll do one, and then she'll do a second one. So sometimes you have to wait before you throw that back leg. It's the right idea, All right? Either you stay in place and do it, or you move out of the way and do it. Okay, okay ready, second round, she joke. Hmm? Yep, you guys do head. So be ready. She got, she's going. She's going for it. There you go. Nice. Good. Come on. So relax. It's hard with this. You gotta pace yourself. And you gotta pace yourself, all right? But this is good because, all right, when you're nervous, that's what happens, right? Legs get heavy, weak, all right? You gotta know, okay, even though they're weak, I still gotta fight. I still gotta be smart. Okay, ready, she jumped, third round. <laughs> Hey, Riley, fierce over there. You go, girl. You go, girl. Move, 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 move. Turn. There you go. You got it, Mr. Francisco Sr. <laughs> you know. Oh, right there. Bam. Mr. Uh, Mr. Ferrari, I gave you the, um, the rules, didn't I? Didn't I send you a document, email with the rules? Okay. There you go. Don't block some of that stuff, Riley. Just step back, get out of the way. Don't. All right. Come on. All right, Chitta Kung now. Air high fives. Have a seat. Okay, Mr. Brandon, I'm going to have you go with uh, Mr. Ferreria this round. All right, Mr. Noah, Mr. Isaiah, next. Huh? Dang, she wrinkled that whole thing. Or is that the old one? Is that the old one? Okay, fighting set. Hi okay, ready. She joke. In and out, right? In and out, Brandon. In and out. Yep, make him miss. Okay, you have the speed advantage here. So, 
All right, move around, make a miss. See, don't kick slow like that, Mr. Noah. You got to kick fast. Okay, see? Bam, right there, one, two. You can't just do one kick on him, Isaiah. He's called, come on, 30 second rest. You only do one, he's just gonna step out of the way. Uh, he knows you're only gonna do one, so all he's gonna do is step back. Okay, fighting stance. Ah, yep. Second round. She jump. Oh, right there. See? He puts it down right there. You gotta go, Brandon. There you go. There you go. Good, Mr. Ferreria. I know you're tired, Brandon. All right. Just be smart with your I still want you to you gotta fight though. You can't just stand there, even though you're tired. You gotta fight. Okay, you don't want to give up points because you're not fighting. Why'd you just stand there? Move and kick. Move forward, jam him up. You got to stop him with a cut. Come on. 30 second rest. strap bud okay fighting sense she joke third round be ready get your hands up noah even though he's smaller than you you got to be ready see right there boom you should be cutting him isaiah come on noah get your kicks up isaiah there you go see that's what you want to do Oh, come on, Noah. You got to get that guard up, right? He's sneaking that kick in there underneath your guard. There you go. There you go. There you go. Come on. Shit, Kung Nat, air high fives. All right, let's do uh, Riley Carter over here. All right, Mr. Frey, you want to go with your son? One round. Okay, check it, Kungna, fighting stance. Ayo! She took. Protect your head. Nice. Oh, it's the right idea, Mr. Ferrari. Here you go. Good, Carter. There you go. So remember, you got to cut a little bit uh, instead of doing roundhouse kick, Miss Riley. Turn, 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 turn. See right there, right? He's going to put it down, then you can counter off your back leg. Be careful with that, right? She's gonna come up with that roundhouse. Come on! You gotta be careful when you try to flip this because she can get you low. All right. So you just gotta be careful when you're trying to flip that front leg, especially with a person that likes to stay in and kick a lot. All right. So the goal is to try to catch her when she's not stable. Okay, so right, if she's stable, then she's and you're coming up, she's gonna catch you low. And she joke. Second round. Third 
Don't wait too long, Miss Riley. Push, push hard and then kick. There you go. Get it up higher. You can get him in the head. Nice, Carter. Good. Go. Move, 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 Junior. Move, Junior. Move, 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 move. There you go. All right. Ah, oh, waited too long. Come on, thirty second rest. You don't have to be go, go, go all the time. All right. Go sometimes, back up sometimes. Because if you keep going hard, 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 he's going to eventually, he'll figure you out. And that's what the good fighters do. They figure out what your tendencies are. So you want to show certain tendencies, but then you also want to show other things. So that they're constantly thinking, what am I going to do? What, am, what are you doing? Okay. Third round. Oh, don't lead with that, Riley, right? You want to throw that reverse kick when he kicks. So, like, here it comes in. If he comes in off back leg, that's when you throw it right there. That would be where you throw reverse. Come on. Check, check in there. Fist bumps or air high fives. Take a break. Okay. Brandon, you're going to go with Francisco Jr. again. Okay. You guys go over here, Francisco Jr. and Brandon here. Isaiah, Noah, over on that far end, over there, please. You can keep an eye on them. No. It's okay. She's tough girl, you are tough. But once again, yeah, you know, being tough is one thing, right? Getting scored on is another. It's all about points. So, you know, you don't want to give up points by getting hit. So, all right. Fighting sense. Yep. She took. Ah, see, why you let him kick your hand? Get out of the way, see? There you go. That's the way to change it up, right? Get out of that range. Every time you back up, you give him room to kick. Kind of watch what he's doing because that way you can kind of game plan for him next time you fight him. The one thing is you don't have a lot of experience with him because he hasn't fought a lot. So this is where you, you start watching and seeing. You got, come on, 30 second rest. You got a lot with Brandon, obviously Carter, but so. Use more your lead leg, Mr. Francisco Jr. All right, keep him at a distance. You're taller than him. Okay, fighting says, yeah, she joke. Ah, you got a kick, Brandon, that punch. Oh, be careful, yeah, there you go. Bam, right there, see, there you go. Got to get that kick up, Mr. Francisco. Oh, you got to go in again. Yeah, don't stop, Mr. Francisco. You get him on the corner over there. One. You got to throw some kicks, Brandon. All right, once again. All right, he's out kicking you. All right, you're not going to win a fight if you let someone out kick you. Come on. Okay, but you got to be smart about it. You can't just, oh, I got to just start kicking. 
You got to make them miss and then you kick them. Make them miss and then you kick them. Okay? Okay, fighting sense. Ready? She jumped. Last round. There you go. That's what we need to do more of. Move. Yeah. yeah. See? But then double it sometimes. Not just one time, two. Ah, see? Too slow. There you go, Francisco. Push, ah, uh, kick, 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 kick. Oh my goodness. Legs are heavy now. Come on, breathe. Legs are heavy. Come on. Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, relax, take a break, get some water. Absolutely, sir, yeah, don't, don't force it by any means. And even just a little bit of this is get your heart rate up really quick and it's hard. Yeah, he took some shots too, so maybe jerk something too. So, mm -hmm. All right, real quick, you guys. Okay, a couple of things to keep in mind. Carter, come over here. Okay. One of the most important things that you guys need to do as fighters is to understand what the tendency of the person that you're fighting what do they would like to do a lot of okay everyone has a tendency everyone does something that makes them feel comfortable okay whether it's front leg back leg whatever it is if you watch carefully where you're watch when you're sitting and taking a break and you're watching other people when you watch them watch what they do watch what the one person does right everyone has a tendency you have to figure that out Right, you have to figure it out quick in a fight. Right, that's why you have multiple rounds. It's not just one round and you're done. Okay, if it's a one round, you're done. You fight differently. Then I've got three rounds. See, the one thing that's nice about sparring is that, yeah, you could be down. You could lose that first round. It doesn't matter. Right, you can score more points in the second round and get that back. Okay, it's not like Pumse where you lose points and that's it. You lose points and you're done. There's no chance to get back. In sparring, I'm down by three, four, five, six points. It's not the end of the world. In Pumse, if I'm down three, four, five, six points, I'm done. No mas, all right? So, right? Do they like to stand in what we call close stance or excuse me, open stance or close stance? Okay? Keep in mind, opposite leg, left leg, right leg. That, this is called open stance which means both of our chest is facing the same direction, okay? This is called closed stance. From open stance, you are vulnerable for back leg kick and front leg kick, okay? Here, closed stance, you're vulnerable primarily from front leg kick because if they come from back leg this way, that's the illegal technique because I'm kicking to the back. Okay, so you have to understand if you fight this way, you're opening yourself up for more attacks. You don't know if he's coming off the back leg or the front leg. Very dangerous. Here, you minimize it a little bit more, right? He's got to come more front, more front leg than back leg. Okay, so I can kind of play with that, right? So if you are the taller person when you're fighting, you need to utilize your front leg. You really need to utilize your front leg. Okay? That way, because Isaiah, come here. All right? All right? David and Goliath, right? Okay? If Carter uses his front leg, right, Isaiah can't kick him. Try to kick Carter. Just stay in there. You see? Right? This is, this is, called, this is the fencing that, they, that Taekwondo is right now right? It's lead leg, hitting lead leg, okay? So as long as Isaiah doesn't get in here, right? Carter, all he's got to do is just wait for Isaiah to come in. That's the one thing, right? If this is, 
if this is the height disparage that we have, right? Now, see, Carter's taller than me now too, right? So he can do the same thing with me. He can do the same thing with me, but he's got to time it better because we're closer in height, okay? All right, Noah, come here. All right. See, Noah's taller than Isaiah, right? Noah's got to time it just right because if not, right, go ahead and try to, try to kick kick Carter you see right no matter what he does so if I go slow that's just gonna give him easy kick right now if Riley's in here right go ahead and sit down thanks so same height same leg speed now the problem here so go in your close stand so you guys are so now here right this is both front leg front leg right you have to be careful here because why? If both of you guys kick front leg same time, clash. All right? So the question is, who's faster? All right? Can you draw a technique out? Can you fake the opponent so that they throw their kick and miss? Okay? So you have to understand which way are they standing. Try to stand in close stance as much as possible. Don't be open stance. Okay? easier to guard against and protect all right that's what i want you to focus on for the remainder of the night as you guys are fighting focus on trying to stay in your close stance and fight from close stance not from open stance okay all right so let's see say so, uh riley let's have you and francisco jr over here and then brandon you and carter You have to practice this stuff here. You can't practice at tournament. At tournament, right, they kick harder, they're angrier, right? They're taught to hurt you, right? Here, we're not hurting each other. Yeah, you're going to get kicked hard and so forth, but no one is intensely trying to hurt you, okay? That's the one thing is if you're scared, then sparring is very difficult. If you're scared to get hit, sparring is very difficult because you will get hit. And sometimes it will hurt. Okay? Can't be afraid, though. All right. Hit it, come it. Fighting set. Yep. Ready. She took. Stay in that close stance as much as possible. Make a miss and then move. There you go, Brandon. You got to make a miss, though. All right? Keep those hands up as you're moving, Mr. Francisco. Your France hands are opening up. Ah, see, just step out of the way there. You don't need to stay in that close stance, right? Because if not, see, there you go. See, he doesn't have that side very well. Come on. 30 second rest. Man, you want to... I know, right? Well, yeah, you're trying to stay loose. And, you know, don't watch Carter, right? Black belts, we're, we're the worst. We are the worst. You, you'll see me fight like this with you. I'll fight like this. Because why? I can react quick. Right? If you're not, if you're not quick, though, right? Boom, there goes a the finger. Okay, fighting set. Try to stay in close stance. Try to... Don't go into open, Riley. See? See what happened? I told you. Oh, look at Brandon got that twisting kick going. Oh, oh, Brandon got a twisting kick. Oh, stay in the close stance. There you go, Carter. Good. Let him come to you, Brandon. Draw the technique out to him. Okay, you it's because you can't cover the distance. So you have a hard time initiating the contact, right? Just lightly throw that kick and then make him come in after you. Oh, see? He knows you're not moving. That's why. Come on! Smart. You got to keep moving. I took a good back kick there. Oh. All right. That's a little stinger there. All right. 
I know we're out of practice. Everyone's out of practice right now. Okay. So don't, don't feel bad. Everyone's out of practice. All right. It's okay to make the mistakes here. So, okay. Fighting stance. She took. No. Oh. Close stance. Close stance. Close stance. Ah! Come on, you guys. Close stance. There you go. Oh, see? Nice, Riley. Good. Nice. See where his hands, because he's messing with his gloves. When he starts messing with his gloves, boom, you go high. There's always opportunities, even there, right there. See? Throw the kick. Don't half throw it. Uh, be careful of the hook. Be careful of the hook. Okay. You can block and push it out of the way, but if you hook it, they're going to call you. Call you for a hold. Come on. Jay, come down. Air high fives. All right. Isaiah, Noah, right back here. Good job, you guys. Getting better. I know it's hard. Yeah, it's hard trying to stay in close stance. Okay, ready, fighting sense. She took. Staying close, dance. Okay, so now one thing to keep in mind here, right? You see they're in close stance. Right? Isaiah needs to do more than just one kick because he's the shorter person, right? If he doesn't do that, he's going to have a hard time scoring. All right. See. All right. What I mean by two things, right, or multiple things is the fact, right, you either have to move and kick, right, kick and move, kick and punch, kick and kick, right? Always think in twos because most of the time we're just doing one, all right? Just one. Come on. Use your lead leg more, Mr. Noah. Okay. You got such a height. You're taller than him, right? You should be able to keep him away from you. He should not be able to touch you with the chest pad. Fighting stance. Are you? Yeah. She took. See, that's where you don't want to fence. Right? As a shorter person, you don't want to fence like that. You want to fence put it down when they put it down all right because they right there you go see him. as a shorter person you go in you do your damage you get back out go in do your damage get back out all right oh stepping out come jump get your hands up all right or else you get kicked in the face Come on, 30 second rest. Okay, so did you guys see uh, in the fight, Noah went like this? Illegal. You cannot stomp. Uh, you cannot stomp and do nothing. Okay, we used to fight and you go, ha, ha. No, you can't do that. You have to, if you make that motion, you have to kick. So if you come down, you have to be kicking with that other leg or else it's considered an illegal technique. Okay, she jumped. So no stomping without following up. Get your kicks up, Isaiah. All right, even when you're fighting these taller people, you have to kick a higher. You kick below that chest pad, it's a low kick. Every low kick, you give a point to your opponent. See, one kick and stop, no good. It's okay. Come on. Come on, no, you got to kick more, right? Chitta Kung Na, Air Half Face. So anything under the chest pad, wherever the chest pad is, is considered a low kick. 
So you have to be very careful. Even if you part of your foot is up on the chest pad and the other part is below the chest pad, it's considered a low kick. Okay, so the entire foot has to be wherever the chest pad stops from that point up. Okay. So you have to remember that. Okay, let's do Brandon Riley and then Francisco Carter. Okay, fighting sense. Hit it, come down, fighting sense. Hit it. She jumped. There you go. Yep. Try to get that cut quick so you can get that back leg. All right. Now you got to cut angle with her. See, don't move straight back, Brandon. You're not going to hit her. You got to move more angle. See? You're just standing there when she kicks. Move out of the way. Come on, you start seeing that, then that's when you know you can kick, All right? It's like, here, Brenda, no, All right? So if I switch and he switches, no, stay there, stay there for a second. So switch, all right, I switch, he switches, right? So I know, boom, go ahead, boom, right? So if you sense that, you can time it and then switch, hit him. Mr. Okay, fighting set, yep. You can tell he's doing that, right? He's kind of waiting, All right? So cut hard if you're gonna do that. <laughs> See, you got him out. You gotta move, keep moving, keep moving. Keep moving, Francisco, right? Don't panic. When he starts to kick a little bit higher. Oh, one, two. Boom, back leg and then follow it up. Ooh, there you go. See right there, back up and kick. That's where your, your hujin step is gonna come into play. Come on. Okay, so don't be afraid to step back. When he starts to come in on you, step back and kick. Step back and kick. Fight as you move back instead of just, you know, just moving your feet and not doing anything. Throw some kicks. Or move back and then move in all right show him that you're you're going back so that he comes in a little aggressively step into him stop his momentum push him and then kick him okay she duck third round <laughs> sneaking in that twisting kick Keep that stand short there, Miss Riley. Stand tall. Woo! Wow. Yeah, he's just catching you when you're a little tired. There you go. Good. Push. Yep. And then cut him. Keep him out there. Oh. In the ring. Come on. Oh. Right. Bumps. Good job. Okay. So a couple of things to keep in mind in, in regards to ring ring management right if one foot steps out of the ring you are you're losing points okay if they kick you out of the ring you're losing points if you step out you're losing points if they push you out of the ring right then the person pushing loses points okay so it's important to know where you're at all the time if you're close over here get turned around don't try to fight here because one hard kick, push kick, and you step out, you're out. Okay? All right, Isaiah and Noah, let's go.
Putting sense. Yep. Ready. Shuck. So the rest of you guys, one more round after this, and we're done. So this is Isaiah, Noah. This is your last round. See, why are you just standing there and letting him kick you, Mr. Noah? All right? It's like playing a video game, right? If you just try to block their kick, right, you lose energy, right? Your energy bar in the video game goes down just by standing there and blocking. All right, same thing here. You're going to get tired. The more you block, you're the more tired you're going to get. All right? See, you're, you're not moving hardly, right? And yet Isaiah is moving so much, he's exerting a lot of energy. Right? And you're just letting him. Come on. Kick him. Right? Anticipate. Think about where he's going to go and throw it. Right? If you think he's going to go there, throw it over here. Anticipate. Don't just stand there and let him move around faster than you. Okay? Be patient. Wait for him to come in and hit him. Okay, fighting sands. Yep. She chuck. No. Oh, see? You gotta stay light on your feet, Mr. Noah. Flat footed. He's gonna he's gonna run circles around you. Light on the feet. Bounce, bounce. Got a kick though, Mr. Noah, right? Get your kicks up. There you go. Good. There you go. Boom. Ah, too slow, Isaiah. All right. See, right there, if he's showing that he's injured, you got to go in, right? Killer instinct. Go after him. Come on. 30 second rest. All right. If they start doing this, you got to show that killer instinct. Go in there and get some points. All right. And if you're the one injured, don't show that you're injured, right? All right. Or they're going to come after you. Always stay, stay in control. Look for opportunities. All right, this is for you guys, the older group, right? You guys see these. Fighting sense. Shijunk! As you're watching, you can see where they're missing opportunities, where Noah's missing opportunities to score on Isaiah, where Isaiah's missing opportunities, right? You guys got to do apply what they're doing in your fights. See, it's all for him. It's all right leg. If you notice, all right, Noah, if you take his right leg out of the equation, right, force him to fight his left leg, you're gonna you're gonna be able to score on him. See? All right, if you stand with your left foot in front, come on, he won't be able to kick. See it, young man. Fist bumps. You guys are done. Good job. All right. Riley and Carter, Brandon and Francisco Jr. Last round, gentlemen and lady. <clears throat> so we got a sucker. Okay. Ready. Fighting sense. Yep. Yeah. She junk. Watch for those headshots. That's good, Riley. Nice. You can come under on the underside, Carter. All right, when you're in the open stance. When she opens right there, she comes in with the lead. You can come in underneath. There you go. Okay. There you go. Good, Brandon. All right, way to. Okay. Come on, thirty second rest. One thing about trying to go high, right? Get it and get it down. I don't try to get. Right, because with Francisco, you can get cute a little bit because he's pushing. That's why you get it up there and you get it down. 
or you don't even throw it, right? And you get it when you can get her off balance so she can't come in after you. By any sense, are you up? She jumped. Stay in on them, right? You could have gotten them out for a point. So are you seeing the different kind of things as you're watching different people? All right, Mr. Brandon? Okay. Especially with like these two, right? Okay. Just lean back as you're coming in with that lead there, Riley. Now prevent you from taking that headshot. You gotta manage that ring, Carter. Come on, 30 second rest. Good. So you're learning, this is how you learn, right? It's called the school of hard knocks. All right, you learn by getting kicked. You learn by, you know, accidentally getting kicked in the head or stepping wrong and taking a shot. All right. Someday, you know, one day you're going to be able to hit everyone and no one's going to be able to figure you out. And other days, everyone figures you out and they know exactly. Fighting sense. She jumped. Right. Last round. Yeah, don't do that. Don't do that, Riley, because you can get off balance. Hear that? Kick down, kick. Kick down, kick. Right there, back leg, back leg, back leg, Riley. Oh, he's wide open on that back leg side when you're that close like that. Nice, Carter. Nice. <laughs> Disrupted him. See, he wasn't expecting that. That's good. You got to move in on the cut. Remember, Brandon, you're smaller. You got to move forward on your cut. Come on. All right, Cheddar Kung now. All right, fist bumps. Good job, guys. School of hard knocks. Well done. Bye, girls. All right. Hopefully you learned something. I don't think you did, though. I think you were messing around. <laughs> but I did make them jump on the trampoline while they were going. They didn't make it the full round. I'm sure. <laughs> All right. We'll see you later. Thank you, sir. All right. Bye. Yes, good job.